Good evening. I'm Troy Brown, the San Joaquin County Superintendent of Schools. It is my pleasure to welcome you this evening to our High School Honors Concert, which highlights high school band, choir, and orchestra musicians across our county. So welcome. We're glad you're here. How about a big hand for our students? I also want to recognize with us this evening is our Associate Superintendent, Janine Caselin. At the San Joaquin County Office of Education, it has been our honor to support music education since 1959 by sponsoring honors concerts and other music services. After another long-standing champion of the performing arts is San Joaquin Delta College. I would like to not only thank Delta College for hosting tonight's concert, but also for their continued partnership in making this special night possible each year. We are fortunate in San Joaquin County to also have school districts that provide opportunities for music education and truly understand the value of music in schools and the extraordinary benefits that music education provides our students. I would also like to extend my gratitude to the San Joaquin County Music Educators Association, an organization of local band, choir, and orchestra directors whose purpose is to further the advancement of music education in and out of the classroom. And I would like to recognize the student musicians performing tonight. They are talented, dedicated, courageous, and most of all, passionate about music. The performances you will hear tonight will be as inspiring as they are entertaining because of the love of their respective crafts on display here tonight. Being here this evening reminds me of the music students I knew on my campus when I was a high school principal. I saw students who loved being in their music class where their passion for performing arts grew along with their skills. It was evident that those students wanted to go to class and wanted to participate. You could feel the energy as soon as you stepped into the room. All students need to feel connected to their school. And for these students, music and music education helped to build a strong connection. With that love of music came a love for their school as well. Whether it was going to perform together at a basketball game or a rally or a lunchtime concert, these students took pride in being a part of something bigger than themselves while also being pleased with their individual accomplishments. Thanks to the music program, their school was more than just a building to them. That's one of the reasons why mu music education is so important. Music also nurtures talents, builds skills, develops critical thinking, develops patience and creativity, and inspires students to learn and challenge themselves. The former CEO of Xerox Company had this to say about music. There is a practical reason for music education. It teaches people to think, to solve problems, to take risks, to think independently, to be entrepreneur and innovator. The virtues of music education are the virtues of free enterprise in general and of a high-tech, knowledge-based society in particular. Flexibility, adaptability, inventiveness, even playfulness. And tonight, you will see how far it has taken these students who have put in countless hours of practice to be able to perform here tonight. And last but certainly not least, thank you to the parents, family members, and others who are here tonight who nurtured and assisted these inspiring students to pursue their passion for the performing arts. We are thankful you are here tonight, or tuning in at home for some, to witness their accomplishments and growth as performers. In closing, the novelist Irene Nimorowski, who lived in the early 1900s, shared, for music alone can abolish differences of language or culture between two people and invoke something indestructible within them. Isn't the unifying power of music now more important than ever? Thank you.
It's now my pleasure to welcome to the stage our Assistant Superintendent at the County Office of Education uh, of Ed Services, Jane Chamberlain, who makes all of this possible within her department. So, Jane Chamberlain. Thank you, Dr. Brown. Good evening and welcome. We are so happy to be the hosts of the 65th annual high school honors concert. And there's two things that I can always promise you happen on this evening every year. One, it rains. And two, you're in for some beautiful music. This year's San Joaquin County Office of Education High School Honors Concert consists of 288 students, 103 choir students, 89 band, and 96 orchestra students representing 21 schools in nine districts within San Joaquin County. More than 330 students auditioned in the fall. And for those that don't know, the audition process then leads to this week, where for the first time they play together with, their, with the group that they're performing with tonight and with the conductors that they are performing with. So in one week, they come together to perform this beautiful music. The auditions and concert are organized by the San Joaquin County Visual and Performing Arts Department, which sponsors the event with Delta College Music Department and the San Joaquin County Music Educators Association. I would like to thank our SJCOE team members who have coordinated the details for this evening. Sandra Wendell, our project liaison for student musical events, and Julia Cornejo, our staff secretary. So let's get to some music. Our accompanist this evening is Amy Dahlstrom. Amy graduated, Amy graduated from the University of the Pacific with a bachelor's in music education, where she studied with Frank Weens. She has taught music in Lodi and Lincoln Unified School Districts. Ms. Dahlstrom has served as the musical director for the Stockton Civic Theater on the Adams Family Hair on the Adams Family, Hair, Rock of Ages, The Last Five Years, Something Rotten, Rent, and is currently working on Cabaret. She is also a uh, musical directed at Showbiz Theater Company for Godspell and The Drowsy Chaperone. In addition to the main stage shows, she is the co-music director for the Stockton Civic Theater Junior Summer Program. Most recently, Amy served as the collaborative pianist for the 2023 SATB Regional Honor Choir under the director, direction of Do Dr. Jonathan Talberg, which was held at the University of the Pacific. And today's choral conductor, Dr. Edward Chetto, hails from San Francisco. There he leads the juniors and apprentice choirs of the San Francisco Boys Chorus. He is an avid church musician and conducts the choir at Menlo Church in, Men in Menlo Park. He also sings at Grace Episcopal Cathedral in the city. He has performed with Bobby McFerrin and on many occasions with Dave Brubeck. He holds musical degrees from the University of Iowa, the Boston Conservatory of Music, and the Hart School of Music at the University of Hartford. He is a Kadai specialist, which means teaching music to children, certified by the Kadai Musical Training Institute. His pedagogical motto is, Si hilarious Brimanici. If it's fun, they'll remember. At this time, I would like to invite the San Joaquin County 2024 High School Honor Choir to the stage.
This is a love story. Ya me voy de corazón. So I sing to you with my heart. Ya me voy con un tambor. So I am leaving with my drum. Yo le canto todo el día con cariño y alegría. And with my heart I sing to you this song. Ya me voy con un tambor con cariño y emoción. And so I am leaving with my drum with affection and emotion.
This is a poem about wisdom. Sure on this shining night of star-made shadows round, kindness must watch for me this side the ground on this shining night. The late year lies down the north. All are healed, all in health. High summer holds the earth, hearts all whole. Sure, on this shining night.
Dr. Cheto, Amy, beautiful. Thank you to both of you and the 103 beautiful voices that made up this choir tonight. Thank you. That's the first time that a choir has ever started their performance on their own. It was a choice of the director, and it was really cool to see him come out um, near the end and let them start. So thank you again. All right, at this time, we are going to take a brief intermission of about 15 minutes in order to get orchestra set up on the stage. But we have many more wonderful things to come. Orchestra, band, and some awards will be given and a scholarship. So please come back and join us. Welcome back. We do know that there are some issues with the live streaming. Thank you for letting us know that. Um, and they are working on that, but I did want you to know that it is being recorded and each member of the Honor Choir Band and Orchestra, we have their emails and so we will send a link to the recorded uh, performance to their emails so you can still share it with those um, in other states, grandma and grandpa and all the cousins who want to see it. So we apologize for the inconvenience, but we will have the recording out to you this evening. Thank you. As you can see during the intermission, Delta College, the Delta College team was busy setting up for our, our orchestra performance. And on stage, we are proud to showcase the San Joaquin County 2024 Honors Orchestra. Please give them a round of applause. Yeah. 
At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our 2024 guest conductor for orchestra, Don Harms of Stanford University. Don's very diverse career ranges from being a chamber musician, conductor, violin soloist, and concert master. She is a member of the San Francisco Opera Orchestra, associate concert master for the New Century Chamber Orchestra, and co-concert master with the Oakland East Bay Symphony. She is in her 11th year of being music director and conductor of the Bay Area Rainbow Symphony and is the conductor of the pre-college string orchestra at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music. She also records regularly at Skywalker Ranch Studios on soundtracks for movies and video games. Ms. Harms was chosen as a fellow at the exclusive American Academy of Conducting at the Aspen Music Festival. Her guest conducting engagements include appearances with the Palo Alto Chamber Orchestra, the Livermore Amador Symphony, Symphony Parnassus, and the Fremont Symphony. She was also invited to conduct the extra shorts on the film Ratatouille. As a strong advocate of music education, she teaches violin, viola, and coaches chamber music at Stanford University. Please welcome Don Harms.
So that clearly was not the Duke Ellington. Did you think that was? I guess that's out of order. We, that was the Adoration by Florence Price. And one of my missions is to always play a female composer because she was such a beautiful composer. I don't know if you've heard her pieces before, but she was so um, prolific, but she was at the, time, at the turn of the century and she was African-American and she was a woman. So it was against her right away. And now we're playing her pieces all the time and she's very famous. She doesn't get to read the benefits, but I try to play her pieces whenever possible. Now you notice the next piece, the Duke Ellington, one of my dear friends arranged it for us and you often hear a big band. So I was saying I've never had 80 strings play this. It's, us it's usually like, you know, how they sit like Lawrence Welk. Do you know, are you guys too young for Lawrence Welk? <laughs> Everyone looks at me, what? Lawrence who? You call him Larry. Anyway, they have a, a kind of a big band setup, and I was trying to teach the students that this is amazing because we get to play it on the strings. You usually have saxophones and trumpets, and you'll get to hear the wah-wah parts with the strings. So again, we did a different genre, a different style, and it's, it's just so wonderful to see how they've brought it. So here is the Duke Ellington.
congratulations and a job well done. And thank you to our conductor, Don Harms. At this time, you can exit the stage. At this time, we'd like to do a special thank you to our San Joaquin County Music Educator Association board members and partners. Kristen Florick, President. Kathy Edel, Vice President of the Band and former San Joaquin County Teacher of the Year. Ethan Abala and Katie Carbajal, Co-Vice Presidents of Choir. Heidi Anderson and Shane Callback, co-vice presidents of orchestra. And all of our participating school music directors. Thank you for all of your dedication to this. At this time, we will give out our Zane Award recipient plaques. And if you know you are a choir student that is receiving a Zane Award, I would ask you to make your way um, down here so that we can announce you. So the Zane Award um, is, comes from a tradition of a longtime music educator. And he um, worked, Nelson Zane, he worked at the San Joaquin County Office of Education for many years as a dedicated music um, educator and actually started this honor band and concert evening. So our Zane Award recipients are students who have been given, who have been accepted into the San Joaquin County High School Honors Program for all four years of eligibility. This year, a total of 26 students will receive the award. Nace Nelson Zane four-year recipients are eligible for a $500 scholarship and the scholarship winner will be announced this evening. So, for band, okay. Giuseppe Amato, Tokay High School. All the way to the New State Camp. Selvin Curran, East Union High School. Molino Halaholo Lincoln High School. Sergio Lozano Franklin High School. Jaden Magriaga Lincoln High School. Uzar O. Tracy High School. Zach She Lincoln High School. Josh Sprinkle, Lincoln High School. Hannah Wampler, Escalon High School. Ethan Williams, Franklin High School. Sonette Wanacott, Lincoln High School. Matthew Young, Lincoln High School. Ryan Dahl, Lincoln High School. I apologize, this is orchestra, obviously. 
Valentin Hernandez, Ripon High School. John Holdaway, Lincoln High School. Kiera Amada, Lincoln High School. Justin Martinez, Lincoln High School. Helen Padilla, Lincoln High School. Angeline Redding, West High School. Carol Rodriguez, Lincoln High School. Anthony Wahab, Tracy High School. And for choir, hopefully they've been able to make it downstairs. Archie Fall, Mountain House High School. Saknor Carr, Mountain House High School. And Ashida Thathat Param, Mountain House High School. So at this time, I'm excited to announce the Nelson Zane Memorial Scholarship winner. The recipient will receive $500 scholarship from the Nelson Zane family. And as mentioned before, they had to apply for this scholarship and write an essay. I'll read the name first and then I'll, I'll read the essay to you because they're always very interesting. The winner comes from Toke High School, Giuseppe Mattia Amato. Giuseppe's way on the end over there, so you can stay. So Giuseppe said, thrown into playing trombone freshman year, I struggled through wonky tunes and suspicious sounding notes. Despite not having instruction due to distance learning, I decided to audition for the county honor band the next year. To my surprise, after many hours rehearsing excerpts and attempting to make scales sound less jarring, I made first chair. I wasn't sure what to expect, not having much experience in band outside of school. When we were cued in for the first tuning B flat, I realized exactly why I was there. I was in awe as we flew through difficult repertoire, burning through hypnotizing rhythms of symphonic dance number three, Fiesta, without a sweat. Feeling the music, not just hearing it, was a truly profound experience. From then on, I was hooked. The next year, with frequent and deliberate practice to make up for lost time, I earned second chair at All Northern and became the first from my school to have successfully auditioned for All State, also placing second chair in my ensemble. Beyond the music we played, meeting countless talented, dedicated musicians in the honors concert was an invaluable opportunity. Inspired by their hard work in improving their own skills as musicians, I sought to follow suit. Most importantly, I learned from them the power that music has in bringing people together with a common purpose despite other factors. In my own community, I hope to share the amazing experience that is the County Honor Band by encouraging others to audition in the future. Even though I was the first, I'd be much more satisfi satisfied if I'm the first of many more to come. Congratulations, Giuseppe. And if you would all stay on stage while Tim takes some pictures, and we are going to go into another brief intermission to set up from orchestra to band. Thank you.
evening and thank you again for being a part of the 2004 High School Honors Concert. My name is Kristen Florek and I teach band in, at Lincoln High School and Sierra Middle School in the Lincoln Unified School District and serve the role as president of the San Joaquin Music Educators Association. This organization of Eric County Music Teachers collaborate to make events like tonight's honors concert possible. These musicians proudly represent their schools and have demonstrated what can be accomplished when people work together towards a common goal. In addition to making beautiful music, it's also our hope that these students go back to their home school and share what they've learned from these many hours of rehearsals with these wonderful guest conductors we've seen tonight. It is now a pleasure to introduce to you, I'm going to read her bio, of course, our guest conductor for band, Dr. Danielle Godry. Dr. Godry is a celebrated ensemble director, clinician, and adjudicator across North America. Throughout her career as a music educator and leader at all levels, she has consistently and advocated for building community through inclusive practices and champion repertoire from underrepresented voices. She has presented sessions on various topics at distinguished international music conferences. In 2023, Dr. Godry was appointed at the McGill University School School of Music in Montreal as a director of wind orchestra and associate professor of instrumental conducting. Prior to this position, Dr. Godry was a director of bands locally and a co coordinator of instrumental music at, at CSU East Bay. Originally from Winnipeg, Dr. Godry taught high school instrumental music, served as a musician and decorated conductor in the Canadian Armed Forces for 14 years. Retaining her military affiliations here in the United States, Captain Godry was the assistant conductor for the 38th Infantry Division Band of, of the Internet, Indiana National Guard. At home, Danielle and her husband Jordan, a musicologist, maintain a fast-paced life with their two sets of boys, energetic boys, which, and when she has a moment to herself, she loves running and reading. Please join me in welcoming our guest conductor for band this year, Dr. Danielle Godry. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good evening. I'm Dr. Danielle Gaudry of McGill University, formerly of Cal State East Bay. Um, I just want to take a few very brief moments. First, to thank Kathy Edel and the San Joaquin County Music Educators Association for the invitation uh, to be here and to work with these wonderful folks. It's been a blast being back in California, though I was hoping to escape the cold weather. Um, but also, I want to thank them for the months of planning and work that has gone into putting on this event, um, and all for the students' sake. Can you help me in thanking them for all of that hard work? And I'd also like to extend my thanks to these incredible students in front of me. We spent three very intensive days working on this music, and they gave me nothing but their absolute best hard work, dedication, um, attention, uh, respect. They are wonderful humans, and um, can you please help me in congratulating them and their colleagues in the orchestra and the choir? And um, thank you to you for being here this evening and supporting all of this incredible music making. We hope you've enjoyed this event and we're going to close with a piece that we had a lot of fun preparing. Here is America, thank you and good evening. As we started the evening, I promised you rain and I promised you fantastic music. Uh, I've done this for 11 years with this team and the band gets ever better every single year. So Dr. Godry, that was phenomenal and you young ladies and men are wonderful, fantastic, fantastic band for us. Congratulations.
want to take a final moment to thank our guest conductors and accompanists, um, our accompanist and our choir conductor. So uh, Amy and um, Dr. Chetto have already left to head back home, but I'd like to have our orchestra conductor, Don Harms, and our band conductor, uh, Dr. Goodrag, come out again, please. Thank you very much. And we have some flowers and for a thank you from thank you. And one final thank you this evening. We have a fantastic team from Delta College that Dr. Brown mentioned at the beginning of the evening, but they've been behind the scenes and one and their lead is Kishore Patel. And he's the one trying to keep the stage moving and the lights moving and all of the technical stuff, but also out here setting up equipment and running the live stream. And so I just, we can't do that without Delta and Kishore. So I wanted to give him a round of applause, please. Thank you for the gift of your time this evening and thank you for joining us. Please drive home safely.